Hello and welcome to the Baby Lock Shack and welcome to our new member of the Baby Lock family which is the new cover stitch machine called the Euphoria. Now many of the features you will recognise from the previous Baby Lock machines but if I just take you through the various controls here on the far right we have the foot lift um, differential feed is in the same place as it has always been and it is just as efficient as it, as it has always been. Next we have the tension for the looper and that is now calibrated which makes it much easier to keep a good control of that tension. Here we have the tension for the needles which is automatic but easily overridden if you happen to be working with a really fine thread however it will detect the thickness of your fabric so it will adjust itself automatically underneath here we have the stitch length dial again calibrated in millimeters from one up to four and once again um, this euphoria will chain off the fabric particularly if it's if the stitch length is set to four. We have once again a knee lift. We have two sets of uh, screw holes on the cover stitch table, allowing us to use um, not only the standard baby lock attachments, but also the newer ones, such as the bias binder with rakes, those bigger, more industrial machines, uh, accessories. And then over here, we have the needle threader, which is a mechanical one. Uh, but a really good, solid feeling needle threader. So now let me show you how to thread this beautiful beastie. First off, as always, open the covers and we put the lever from serging, which in other language would actually mean stitching, down to threading. Turn the wheel until the tube closes and now we take the looper thread into the guide under and over nice long loop let me just trim the end off there and we're going to put half an inch of thread down the tube leaving a nice long loop. I normally tell customers to take it to the end of the cover stitch flap. This is then attached to a set of bellows inside. When I press it, it sends a jet of air down the tube, like so, and it comes out in this now much bigger tray at the side. And for the needles, we leave the um, threading channel closed and let's do the rightmost needle first sorry with the foot up under and then over into that new thread guide which is quite nice and easy to use now here we have the slider for the various needles so I set it to C3 the needle threader comes down and remains stationary and you just click the thread into place and there it is threaded. C2 th needle. Once again, that little slot at the back is designed to eliminate thread tangles. So if the thread is a little bit lively, it will Take the tangles out before it gets to the business end. Here we have C2. Once again, click the thread into place. And for the last one, under, over, Set it across to C1. And I normally just trim off the ends 
so you've got the length of out to the side of the table. Open the tubes ready for stitching and we're ready to go. So I've got the stitch length at three, differential feed at N and my needle tension set to automatic. So here we have the triple cover stitch. Change the stitch length to four. It will chain off quite happily. And then I can go straight over to sweatshirting. And get a perfect stitch with both fabrics. So now I'll show you how the, the gathering is on the Euphoria. I was convinced when I first saw it because the the foot has a completely flat sole that the gathering would not be as efficient as it has been on the previous models. However, I've found it's absolutely brilliant. So differential feed to two, stitch length to four. And there's your gathering and of course decorative threads through will go through this machine very very easily um, because you have a, a thread bypass on the looper so you can put really heavy threads through it as well sure. I'm now going to remove the leftmost needle and bearing in mind, if you are working on a thicker piece of fabric, um, the two needles on the right are slightly higher than that on the left. So the thicker fabrics will have more space if you work with C2 or C3. We're now down to a narrow cover stitch. I'm going to set my stitch length to two and a half and I'm going to very slightly tighten my loop tension by probably just half a number and that should be sufficient. I don't need to touch the needle thread tension because that is still set to auto and I've discovered that that is usually quite enough for the job. Absolute bliss to be able to just drive off the fabric. Now turn it over, do the other side. And there you see that by just adjusting the tension very slightly, it seems to work beautifully. Gotcha. So for my wide cover stitch, the easiest way is to take out C2 and slide it across to C1. Now we have at the front of these needle channels guides now which makes it so much easier to locate where the needles should go. I'm just going to um, loosen the tension back to three. That's where I had it for triple cover stitch. So turn it back to three and I usually find that is enough. the other way set 
beautiful and it drives off with a chain I'm now going to remove the leftmost needle and uh, we will show you a chain stitch. Incidentally, if I happen to drop that needle, there's a little magnetic tray underneath which will catch the needle as it falls through and saves it getting caught up in the workings. And there's also a magnetic tray on the side there, so I can store the needles there and find them again when necessary. Just removing that last thread, and I have accidentally unthreaded the other needle. So we're just going to quickly re-thread, closing the tubes again, C3. And we're ready to go. I like when I start my stitching to have that thread through the foot so I simply turn the wheel and pull the thread through from underneath like so. I'm going to slightly reduce the tension on the looper so I'm taking that to four for this chain stitch stitch length around two and a half to three differential feed on normal and of course because the needle tension is automatic it will sort itself out and we'll do one in the opposite direction And I've also tried this using a shearing elastic. So I had my stitch length at four and my differential feed at 1.5. Shearing elastic through the looper, normal thread through the needle. And as you see, that makes it absolutely wonderful for some of the uh, garments that are sheared at the top that seem to be quite fashionable at the moment. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your time in the baby lock shack with me and having a look at this glorious new euphoria. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching her as much as I've enjoyed playing with her. I think it's going to be a really nice addition to the baby lock stable and the fact that we have seen answers to so many of the questions that our baby lock followers have asked such as wanting a cover stitch machine with more space. We now have the auto tension on the needles and the fact that you can add some of the baby lock accessories that can really turn this into almost a semi-industrial machine, adding things like the belt loop maker, the bias binders and so on. So I look forward to sharing ideas with some of you in the future and seeing what you can make on your euphoria. Thanks for watching.